Today we are going to go over everything you need to know about the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max that are coming in less than a week. First things first, the talk of the town for the last two years has been the titanium frame, which I expect to happen because Apple is also rumored to do slight changes with the roundness of their entire frame to make the phone more comfortable to hold. The main benefits of titanium is that it's lighter than stainless steel on the 14 series. And as well, it's going to get more durable and I also think that it's going to get these matte sides for the first time in a pro iPhone and the colors for this year's phones are expected to be space black, gray, silver and some kind of dark blue. The star of the show is supposed to be the new gray color or it's going to be another color after all since they are replacing one of their signature gold colors which has been with us since the iPhone 10 and it's apparently getting slimmer bezels. At least the pros are. The regular 15 and 15 plus are still expected to see the same bezels as last year's 14 series. Then comes quite a revolutionary feature I think. And no, I'm not talking about the USB-C port yet, we will get to that, but Apple is supposed to be replacing the mute switch over to an action button. This will apparently let you do one of nine items, the list is right here. Every single model is going to get USB-C this year, just so Apple can comply with the new EU rules. So the pros are getting quite the upgrade, switching over to USB 3.2 speeds or Thunderbolt 3. This is going to enable them to transfer data at 20 to 40 gigabits per second. But as always with Apple, there's one catch. You're not going to get the cable in the box. Also, one more thing about the cables that I'm super excited about is that they are going to get braided and color matched to the devices. And as per tradition, Apple is going to upgrade the chip to the new A70. This year, it might be quite the jump because we are upgrading from a five nanometer architecture over to a three nanometer architecture. And if you don't know what this means, like I didn't know just like an hour ago before I did the research, this light sounding upgrade is going to offer a 35% boost in power efficiency. Okay, let's briefly touch on a few features that may not excite everyone, but are still worth noting. Number one, Wi-Fi 6E, like the MacBook Pro M2s, are promising faster speeds if you have the right router. Then RAM is getting an upgrade from 6GB all the way up to 8GB, which is going to enable you to have more applications open at once. The SIM card tray will be apparently removed in even more countries, with France being already confirmed. Okay, last feature that's pretty cool but I'm not really excited about it that much myself is the new periscope telephoto lens. I know people have been obsessing about zoom over the last few years especially with Samsung being the big mover in this industry and in my opinion Apple just has no choice but to also offer something from their front since their max optical zoom currently is three times which is pretty poor compared to Samsung's. But this year this is supposed to change but only in the 15 Pro Max which I found kind of like mech because I really do like my 14 Pro and I think it's the perfect size. At this event, Apple is supposed to also release the new Apple Watch Ultra in a matte black color, some changes to the AirPods Pro 2 case going to USB-C, as well as a minor change to the regular Apple Watch. As always, I would like to give a big shout out to MacRumors.com, which is the site I got all of this information from. So this is gonna be it for today, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.